Hello everybody and welcome back to Yalan app. So the thing is that just a couple of days ago I bought my new phone and I was trying the Microsoft Authenticator app and it was not working. But I was able to fix it with this quick solution that I'm going to show you right now. So what you're going to do actually is to just close your Microsoft Authenticator app and instead you're going to open up your settings app. So go into your settings app because now you should be taken to this page right here as you can see. Now what you're going to do on this page, you're just going to scroll down and you're going to click on general. And of course you're going to do this on your new phone, just so you know. Scroll down in here and then you're going to click on storage. And by the way, for some of you, this page right here might take quite a long time to load. But don't worry, just wait for it to completely load and it's going to actually show up all the apps that you currently have on your phone. So now in here, what you're going to do you're going to scroll down until you can find the app in here. So I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to keep scrolling down in here. I think it's actually all the way down here if I am not mistaken. So I'm just going to keep scrolling down until I can find the Authenticator app in here. We can do like this instead. I'm just going to search for it instead because I might have missed it. Here it is. So just click on the app. And then what you're going to do on this page now is to click on offload app. So click on offload app. Once again, click on offload app in here. Just wait for it to load. And then you're going to click on the blue button here again. So you, as you can see for the Microsoft app right here, it says loading. And that means that it's actually currently updating to the newest version. So if you recently got your new phone, you actually got the app itself. But if it, if it still is not working for you, you need to do this. Because what will happen now is that you will get the absolute latest version of the app. And it's going to fix all the bugs that was in the previous version. So I did this myself. I went back and it now worked. So I hope that this will be able to fix this problem for you as well.